Hello, and welcome back. Today we will be doing a tutorial on how to install Colgen. Um, Colgen is a... It's basically Minecraft Forge. Well, it's basically Minecraft Forge and Bucket combined. So, here we go. We will be going to colgen.minecraftforge.net and we will be going into downloads. We will first go to important how to apply BPS patches. And here, what we will be doing is we will click, um, we will click this and we will save that. And that is the server installer. We are going to download the spigot patcher. Um, just had to sneeze, sorry. Uh, here we go, spigot patcher, and we will download that. And now we are going to go back to downloads. And I am going to go all the way down. Shoot, wait, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. So, we are going to go to Colgen Installer Patch 1, well, all of this. You see it? I'm not going to read that. So, I'm going to download that. And I'm going to wait for that to download, and we are going to close that out now. So, I just made a, I just made a folder anywhere, just on desktop. That's where I made mine. So, uh, we're going to take these three files that we downloaded. We can move them in. So we're going to name this Colgen. All this like fancy text numbers. We're going to name that installer. Basically, the one that says installer at the end. We name it installer. This one we're going to name this patch. And spigot patcher we are going to name patcher and this is so that you can um, just type them in easier um, so I opened command prompt I clicked here I held shift right click open command window here so we're going to type java dash jar um, first we're going to call for patcher then installer then patch then we're going to name the output file and I'm using tab to autocomplete we're going to do server install dot jar I'm going to click enter and it should run really fast and server install dot jar we're going to right click open with java and first before we do that Let's make a new folder here called server. And you can put this new folder anywhere. Anywhere where you actually want the server to be. So I'm going to open this with Java. I'm going to go to the location of the server folder. We are going to run, and this will take a minute. OK. Once it's done installing, you can click OK. Now you can go to server. So in here, I'm going to make a new text document. We're going to open that text document. Oh, it's over here. Um, we're going to type java-xmx1024m-xms1024m-jar-server-jar, server.jar, and then a new line and pause. So we're going to save as um, file name uh, in in save as type just go to all files or all types and call it start.bat and we'll save that close that and my other one that I was saving here and we can delete that text document 
Uh, I think we can delete this. Maybe. I'll just leave it. Uh, unable to access to... Hmm. Oh, okay. Server... So we will name, rename that cauldron long name of everything to server.jar. We will run the server. And... In the new version of Minecraft, there is a new thing called the EULA when you're starting a server. Well, it's been around for some time, but every time you start a server, or at least every the first time you start a server, you need to open a file. Actually, I should have done something else before. Um, but it's basically the EULA.txt. Uh, I'm just going to change this to true. And you should probably read that. I've already read it. And once you're done, server will start. And you can go to your properties, change all the stuff and things. Nah, uh, wait, let's wait till it loads up. And then we can see. Okay, so once you're done, it will say done and it will say all these permission node things with permission register command forge with permission node net dot minecraft forge dot server dot command dot forge command so all those things are your permission nodes if you're adding permission zx or some other permission plugin that is very bad since permission zx is the best yeah um... you can use those so i'm going to press or type stop and now you can edit your plugins, your mods, your configs, all your stuff, your anything you want. And that should be it. So, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.